Hello everyone, this is Sephiroth's Awakening and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean First Departure for the PlayStation Portable. Today I'm at Silverland to do some PAs. More importantly, the first PA, if you've done the previous one in a van, you'll get one with Ashley. And, oh, you also need uh, friendship levels between Ashley and Roddick. But anyways, here I'll... I'll enter the private action and you'll see. Can you come see me later, Roddick? I'll be waiting at the castle. What does he want? Sounds like something important. Alright, so we gotta go meet uh, Ashley in the castle. I'll cut there. Alright, I'm not exactly sure where Ashley is in here. Ah, here he is. Ah, there you are. Did you want to see me? Well, I've been traveling with you for a while, and I've gotten a fair idea of your skills in battle by this point. Yes? Would you mind listening to one last request from me? Ever since the Crimson Shield sliced off my arm, I've been searching for someone to pass on my knowledge to. Are you interested in learning the secret behind my skills? Me? Are you sure I'm good enough? I have faith in you. That's why I'm offering. Then I'd be happy to accept your offer. There we go. Roddick's final SFT. Um, I think with this you'll be able to get the I think it's called the black dragon howl I'm sorry. I know I really should be doing some research, but And I really shouldn't leave hanging sentences like that, but <laughs> I do Anyways, uh Next I think I'm gonna head to Ed Ekdart for a PA there a special PA there and then I'll probably go to various towns and do whatever PAs pop up and then after I do all the PAs I can I'll be heading towards the uh, island that leads to the demon world anyways first I'll cut to Ekdart see if I can get that PA All right, you can see Elia is not here where she normally stands. So this is probably the PA I'm looking for. Yep, it's definitely the PA I'm looking for. Shh, we're right at the good part. Huh? What are you watching? What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, um, nothing. Oh, those are nice earrings. Very intricate design. Hmm. I didn't think you'd be interested in these kinds of things, Captain. Uh, that's not what I said. <laughs> pass on them. I'm not sure they look good on me. You sure? It'd be better if these went to someone they'd look good on. If I bought them, they'd just be stuck in my jewelry box forever. Yeah. 
Captain, you... I think these would look just fine on you, Elia. Or am I being too pushy? Thank you. I love them. And everybody is watching. <laughs> nice. Elia looks so happy. She does. It's great to see them finally going places for a change. Ah, youth. Hooray! They're in love. When did you get here? Ah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be noticed soon. Let's get out of here. All right, that was one of the PAs. And, uh, well, one of the PAs I was going for, uh, for a while. There's certain PAs you can't miss, and you well, you can't miss them if you want to get this PA. And, uh, that's basically the conclusion. Now, Ron I should get the Ronix Elia ending. I think there's an extra scene or something. Anyways, off to whatever town has PAs now. It's you. Am I intruding? Nah, I needed to kill some time anyway. So you were childhood friends with Sius? Mm -hmm. I guess you're pretty familiar with him. Not really. I was an orphan and Lord Lias took me in when I was young. Lord Lias? You mean Sius' father? Right. I guess you could say I'm like a little sister to him. We grew up together. But the way he acted toward his father, it was like kicking dirt in his face. Lord Lias nominated Sius to become Knight Captain based on his military merit, but that only resulted in accusations of nepotism. Sius couldn't take the pressure, so he decided to pack up and run away from home. He did? Well, I never actually heard it from him, but that's the only thing it could have been. If he actually had some self-esteem, he could have made a fine night captain. But doing what he did, he proved to the world that he didn't even trust his own father. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring this up. No, it's fine. I'm sorry I went off on you like that. I think this is a PA between Ronix and Ashley. What's wrong? You look like something's bothering you. Ah, Ronix. Now I was just thinking about Ashley's left arm. Ah, oh, that. Pretty impressive, huh? The way you can swing that sword with only one arm? It sure is. I bet he was downright unstoppable back when he had both hands to work with. Yeah, too bad we'll never get to see it with our own eyes. You know, on my world, on Earth, they have artificial limbs to replace any arms or legs you lose. The limbs they have these days connect right up with your nervous system and you can move them just like you would move the real thing. That kind of technology has really advanced far. Wow, Earth is really something. If Ashley had one of those, he'd be able to use his arm again. Of course, it's a very painful process. You have to go through a long stretch of rehabilitation before you're 
I was just thinking how Ashley would be right back to normal if he had one of those. Shame it'll never happen. All right, the next PA should be in the top floor of the inn here. I'll cut there. talking about Roddick. what are you so surprised about uh, nothing yeah nothing no uh -uh, we weren't talking about how cute you are nothing nope. harichi wait no i mean we weren't imagining you in a pretty dress or anything Definitely not one with frilly ribbons and bouncy shoulders and cutesy wootsy bubbly wubblies. Oh no. I'd never put on anything like that. You you might look good in it. I don't care. Ugh, I'm sorry. Yep, they were imagining Roddick in a dress. <laughs> Just speaking hypothetically here, let's say there were such things as artificial limbs, man-made arms and legs that you could use just like the ones you lost. Given the choice, would you want one? Huh. That's an interesting question. Crutches and walking sticks are about the best we can hope for. What, do you want to become a doctor or something? No, nothing like that. I just... Well, I figured it'd be nice if you had something to replace your left arm with. I remember when it first happened, I was willing to endure any pain necessary to get my arm back. But now, there's a younger fighter out there, far more talented than I would be today, even if I had both hands. I'd prefer to devote my time to help him grow, instead of chasing some old dream. I see. Ashley has high hopes for me. I better not disappoint him. Wow, I didn't even know this PA continued. I was actually expecting another PA here, but hey, I'll take that. <laughs> 